Welcome to this quick look and user guide for the UD Balrog V2 kit. Inside the box you'll find the new Balrog V2 mod, UD supplied goal sub tank, and underneath there is a USB charging cable, spare coil, spare o-rings, warranty card and instructions. The Balrog V2 looks very similar to the original with its strong and ergonomic metal casing. It is small and compact at approximately 80mm high. The new version 2 now has a built in heat sink for heat dissipation and is ideally suited for 22mm diameter atomizers. The black version shown here has a nice satin black painted finish and the fire button continues to use the Perlic design. The supplied UD Gold sub tank can hold 2ml of e liquid and is made from stainless steel and pyrex glass. The tank has a very good quality feel that defies its status as a kit tank. The flavour and big vapour production is excellent. The gold tank features convenient top filling and top airflow control, the latter significantly reducing the risk of any leaks. To replace the supplied stainless steel 0.2 ohm coil, simply unscrew the base and then unscrew the coil. There are also 0.5 ohm coils available separately. The UD Gold Tank coils can be used in regular power mode or temperature control mode. To fill, unscrew the top section to reveal the two filling holes. This tank works best with a high VGE liquid, and we recommend using 6mg nicotine strength or less for most vapors requirements. Fill with your E liquid until it reaches the top of the two fill holes. Replace the cap and the removable airflow control ring if necessary, and allow the new coil to soak up the e-liquid for a little while before first use. Around 30 watts of power is a good starting point for this tank when used in power mode. The UD Balrog V2 is available in two other colors, black and white gloss finish, or there is a red and an off-white gloss finish. The stainless steel gold tank comes with both of these models. The battery door is made from metal and is held in place by two strong magnets. The battery compartment is clearly marked to show the gold plated positive and negative terminals. Ensure to fit the positive end of the 18650 battery towards the base of the unit and replace the door. Press the fire button five times to turn on and the UD box logo will show. Press again five times to turn off the unit. The Balrog V2 can be adjusted incrementally from 5 watts to 75 watts using the positive and negative buttons. There is now 5 more watts available than the previous model. Pressing the fire button three times enters the menu system to show power mode, temperature control mode, system settings and return which takes the user back to the operating screen. To select an option press the fire button. When using temperature control mode always attach the atomizer with a temperature sensing compatible coil first. Press the fire button three times to enter the menu and select TC. Nickel, titanium and stainless steel 316 wire material options are shown. Select stainless for the UD Gold Tank. An S is now shown on the display with temperature setting shown above. Press the fire button four times to alter the temperature. This will cycle between Fahrenheit and Celsius. We recommend starting around 390 degrees Fahrenheit with the Gold Tank. Next, press both the positive and negative buttons simultaneously to set the resistance. This is important for accurate temperature control. 40 watts is about right with the UD Gold Tank. Within the system menu, you will find a screen menu, puff counter reset, system reset and info. The screen menu will let the user choose the screen orientation for both right-handed and left-handed operation. There is also a stealth mode. This turns the display off when the Balrog is being used. 
Three presses of the fire button will illuminate the display again and the user can then return to the menu system. Return to the screen menu and then select either right or left handed operation to turn off stealth mode. There is a puff counter reset option. There is also a system reset option. Within the info section shows the firmware release and the unit serial number. To view the puff counter, press and hold the fire and positive button simultaneously. This will show the total number of puffs and seconds the device has been used. Finally, by pressing the fire button and negative button simultaneously will lock all the buttons. Ideal for when the device is stowed away in a bag or a pocket. Press together again to unlock the device. The Balrog V2 kit is a great combination of mod and sub-tank to offer big flavour and vapour production at just the right price. Many thanks for watching this overview and user guide for the UD Balrog V2.